All right. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back. A new vlog and definitely a brand new place for us and for you too hopefully. We are here in Bandar Seri Bhagwan which is the capital city of Brunei and it's already a very early start to the day. It's now 6.30 a.m. So we're right now at the bus stop as you can see here and waiting for one of these local buses. Apparently there's no specific schedule but we're hoping to catch one of these so we can show you what it's like and then head to the city center to explore some sites. Here you can see the Brunei flag. It's yellow in color and it has a white. Hey, Paskim. Yeah. Oh, finally. Yeah. So right now we got on the bus and it looks like it's one dollar to ride any distance here on this road and this one will take us pretty much all around the city center. Here also you need to press a button like this to cross the road and wait for the signal to turn green. You can see there are concrete buildings all around this temple. It is in the city center and this temple stands out so beautifully. This is so interesting. They have narrated a story in the form of comics here. You can see all these cartoons drawn on the wall. It's so interesting. So we are right now at the Teng Yun Temple. This is the only Chinese temple here in the entire country and it's over a hundred years old. So this temple was actually built near the present port and uh, during the World War era, the port was being moved from Kampong Air where the water village is further inland. So uh, a lot of buildings including government offices etc were all being broken down and then this temple was then moved from there to here. So even though it's actually built in 1918, it's only probably in the 1960s when it was built here and this is what it looks like today. It's actually very beautiful and so colourful. Uh, it's all red, just like any typical Chinese temple. But today also happens to be an important festival. It's apparently the birth celebrations of the goddess inside. And uh, yeah, I think we don't have the time to stick around and watch the ceremony. But uh, the people inside said it's a very important day. For them. The temple's name is Teng Yun Temple because it means Hall of the Flying Clouds. Uh, it's also fondly called as the Great Uncle Temple. Inside you will find a lot of traditional Chinese uh, architectural style things. Uh, what we really liked was pictures of the uh, 
of the story maybe of buddhism and the chinese merchants coming here they actually came here a lot during the early years of uh, the 19 and uh, 1900s and the 20th century so that's why uh, a lot of it has been preserved just like the way it was when it was built the first time and we can see a lot of tourists here it's one of the few places where you can actually see tourists We're going to go to the mosque. Uh, they say yes. this is one of the most important mosques here. How far is it? It's right here. We can almost see it. Oh, there it is. No idea why they still have pay phones here. Saifuddin Mosque. This is the most iconic mosque of Brunei. As soon as you Google search for Brunei, this is the mosque which pops up. It's like a big court. Hogwarts. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. We just went inside this mosque, they gave me a burqa to wear and it's just a small area which you can go and see inside but it looks very big, it's supposed to be the oldest mosque here yeah, in it's, Brunei. It's uh, one of two national mosques here so yeah. they actually have that status. So the, the mosque itself can seat 3,000 people yeah. apparently. So it's not the biggest you could say but here in Brunei it is one of the largest and it's actually functional so prayers do take place every day uh, especially on Fridays when it's at its busiest. Mm -hmm. So so we're just in front of the mosque now there's a waterfront and we can see a boat in front of it. Yeah. So this mosque was built in 1962. And the mosque itself is, uh, it's built in Mughal architectural yeah. style. So you can see that they have these domes and the minarets, all of that are very similar to what you'd find in parts of India, Central Asia, etc. The marble used inside was imported from Italy and the carpets were imported from Belgium and Saudi Arabia. And these are all handmade things. So it's got a lot of intricate effort and detail yeah. going into it. But what was interesting was the entire mosque was built by supposedly a uh, a non-Islamic uh, architectural firm based in Malaysia. So it's uh, you could say that even though Brunei is so conservative, Islamic, etc., they are actually quite open to a lot of things, which doesn't come out in a lot of um, you know stories that people share on the internet, especially on travel blogs. Um, so hopefully we are able to share something interesting with you. And right now we are standing on this boat. Um, it's actually made of concrete and it's just a structure like a part of the monument. But they say that this is modeled after the Sultan's uh, actual boat. Uh, we don't know if it's still around, like maybe it's inside the palace or something like that. But uh, it's all covered with golden tiles, probably to signify that all of that is gilded actually in real life. So this was the boat we were talking about. And the people here are so kind and friendly. Every time I see somebody, they're smiling back at me and it's, it feels so comfortable and safe to walk around. It is one of the safest countries because yeah. crime is almost non-existent. <laughs> uh, petty theft and things like that do occur apparently, but uh, people are very afraid of the law and that's why everybody is so compliant. Even without cameras, like we could see people yeah. following traffic rules so perfectly. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is the frame, the entire mosque fits inside this frame and this is huge lawn area and right there what you see is Camp Wangayar, that's the water village. It's so hot and it's a long walk to the Regalia Museum. By the way, that one is the museum. We're going to continue exploring Bandar Sri Bhagwan in our next vlog, so stay tuned. I want to talk. No. What are you here not for? What are you not here for? What are you here for? Huh? Such a nice way. Oh, okay. And that is because this temple is supposed to have been built. I don't know why. Clouds temple or something? No, nah, there's no story to it. There's no because. So yeah, it's, <laughs> so. It's now we gathering the facts Malaysia to talk. Nearly a hundred years old, was it? He said 1962. Ah, okay. Now said don't shoot random things. So I'm shooting a random now talking on the foot. A mirror in the city?